Hello guys, today I'm interviewing um, Matt McCallum. He is 5-0, um, one knockout, and he is, is it Northern Area Champion? Yeah, Northern Area Champion, there's my belt right there. The title. Enjoy. How, how, is that the gloves you fought him for it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're the gloves. Uh, got the British Boxing Board of Control. Little stamp on, which is great. Yeah. So yeah, and then belt. What's it there, dude? Ah, that's a cool title. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. North of England, super middleweight. Yeah. Is it? Am I right in saying that you're back out on the twenty seventh of August? Yeah, correct. Yes. Um. Is it a six round fight at the Meadows Arena? Uh, yeah, Rain in Arena, it'll be Rain in Meadows Arena, something like that. Yeah, um, and I think you're against uh, Yad, Yadlin uh, Nev Neves. Well, I, I, th I think that was meant to fight him, but he's now retired, apparently. Oh, is he? Yel Yeldon ne Neves, or something like that, that's his name. Yeah, that's so his name. So I think he's retired. But anyway, since I've won this, I want to, you know, I want to push on. You want to defend it, and, or like? move on i would defend it if there was someone around to challenge for it but is there anyone who's wanting like i'm sure loads of people would be wanting to fight you for the title now and now you've got it if there's anyone out there that can they can have it they can they can have that not my title but um, obviously but um like, yeah well so, so is there no person at your weight that like I don't know. Is there anyone that you 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 want to fight? I want to push on. I want to push on for the English title. Whether that's in my next, you know, the next two Who's three the fights. English champion at super middle. Zach Chelly. Oh, oh yes, because he beat um, what's his name, Jermaine Brown. Jermaine Brown, yeah. Oh yes. Well, I'm oh, kind of I'm kind of hoping Zach vacates because I like Zach. He's kind of my mate. You know, we've been sparring. So I know, he, but he, if if the phone rings and says and Zach Jelly accepts the fight, that would I think you you would accept it because it's yeah, it's a bigger title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, firstly, I mean it's good that you've won that title, which is good because it gets you ranked higher. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I went up from thirty to fifteen. Yeah, because I think you thought of. Did you fight Mike McGoldrick for the title? Yeah. And um, he was, what, was he like eight and one, seven and one, I think? Yeah, eight and one. And oh, he's eight and two now. Eight and two now, yeah. The only fight he lost was to Zach Chelly in the Boxer series. Oh, he, I mean, that's over three rounds, though. That was a bit, you know. Yeah, I know what you're saying, dude, but um, yeah. But I, mean, it, I was asking. It was a, it was a good fight because I think. Uh, well, I watched it live because I think what was it on Fight Zone? I think. Yeah, Fight Zone. Yes. Uh, at Bolton Wanderers Stadium, was it? Yeah, brilliant. Really good venue. Is he? Uh, you're not from Bolton, I don't think. You're from Gateshead. Yeah, Gateshead and Newcastle. That's where. That's where I'm from. Uh, so Geordie. You're, you're a Geordie. Yeah, Mad Jory. You were at um I think there was some boxing because uh um yesterday at Sunderland Stadium. Yeah. Was any yeah. of your like teammates or friends fighting? Yes, yeah, quite a few. Who, like um, who? Because I might my teammate Nathan Kamiski, he uh, unfortunately he, he didn't get the decision, but it was a very bad call by the referee. He wasn't his best, but which you'll admit, but it was it was a wrong call by the ref. Um, oh, yeah, but he put it behind him and he'll move on. Uh, another one he'll of my good friends. Him and he'll probably beat him. Well, who knows? No matter what, though, it's, you'll, you'll see it's a very good learning curve, you know. Yeah. Um, Ewan McKenzie, he had a good stoppage in the fifth round. He's now five and zero. Oh yeah, I, uh, I've seen that. Yeah, I'm interviewing him soon. He, he's a good fighter. He's really good. He's he's a really good kid. He's the fittest kid I've ever sparred with. He is relentless for eight, ten. So rounds. do you think? He'll be fighting for one of those titles at his weight soon. Definitely. Without a question. 
Wait, what, is he welterweight, is he? He's a welterweight, yeah. Yeah. yeah so he's a bit later than me. So he's a really good lad. Yeah. And uh, Mo, Mo Sears, he went 2-0 yesterday. Um, his second KO, he's a good lad. And uh, there was a few other good fights. Jordan Bock Porter, Thomas Ward. Wasn't um, it, Jordan? Because I interviewed the person. I wanted uh, that Zoe Hunter-Smith, but... Um, she is got... she from London? Well, yes, but... Um, uh, I've also interviewed her and I've been talking to her quite a bit. So, right. you know, I, I always want to like see the people I interview like do well and stuff. That's awesome. What do you do? Do you just message people like you message me and say, can I interview you? Oh, yeah. And that, or some people ask me like what, what my channel is. And well, the majority of people say yes. Yeah. Because well, I course, think I've been interviewed good. over 70 now. Yeah, that's good. I've seen you doing Chris Congo. That's a good yeah. one. C Congo's yeah. a good fighter because I went to that uh, fight, his fight mm -hmm. against Formella. Oh, that yeah, was yeah. the same night as Chelly. Yeah, 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 it was. Did you watch the Chelly fight? Yeah, it was brilliant. Did you think Chelly did so... enough to win? Against Brown? Yeah. Yeah, without question. I thought he, he commanded the fight from the get-go. You know, he... He boxed, he, he fought, you know, he's a box fighter, isn't he? Like Brown's meant, meant to be a brilliant boxer, but he, he just couldn't put up with his strength in the pace he was dictating. Um, I think Jelly's serious, like I think he's going to go far. Yeah. Are you happy? Because you've got um, a title shot in your fifth fight, so you're obviously going in the right direction. Mm. Did yeah. You I can't remember. Did he walk out second as he had more experience? He walked out second. He was the home fighter. I was the away fighter. Wait, so is he from Bolton? He's from a place called Barrow and Furness, which is the very south of the you know the Lake District. So it's not far. It's it's so, about so did he have quite a minutes. few fans as there for him as well? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. My, I tell you what, the last sold 40 tickets to my friends and family and they made some noise. I call them the wolf pack because I'm the wolf. I thought you sold more than 40 because they were they were all quite loud. Yeah, well, I think they must have uh, they must have had a word with some of the locals there and said, oh, get cheer in my mate. So I probably won over some more fans, you know, because it was yeah. a good fight. But I think, yeah. I, do you, would you rematch Mike if... if they said, we can't find an opponent for you. And would you defend your title again against Mike if, if that's the only option there? Mm, if you wanted it. But personally, I think Mike's going to retire now. He might have already retired. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I'll tell he, you what. He's he was, a good fighter, but he's just he's not really better good, than you. He's a really good fighter. but um, And he's tough, really tough. And I said to him after the fight, I said, listen, if it is your last fight, mate, you know, you've got the heart of a lion, you've just showed it, and, um, you know, you've, you're going out on your shield, you know, so he can hold his head up high. Yeah, he should do. Yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's was, a good Was lad. he your hardest fight, even though you stopped him? Um, yeah, I would say so, in the pro game, you know. Um, the, my second fight at Christmas, that was against a, a similar type of lad, yeah, Craig O'Neill, who was like, what, Greg, six Greg O'Neill, yeah. I would have stopped him if, if it was longer than, if I had more than four rounds. Yeah, I, if it was, it was over six, I reckon you could have got him out of there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So... Okay, but he's... Greg's fighting on a Sky, I think, soon, against Ben Whitaker. Yes, yeah, that's uh, Ben Whitaker's debut, I believe. Yeah. I will I mean, will ben, you be watching that on TV? Yeah, 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 definitely. I, I reckon, personally, I think Ben beats him, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, Greg Greg comes to fight. He's tough, you know. I, I wish him all the luck. I really do. I wish him the did, best luck. Did Greg sell any tickets when he fought you? I, I don't know. It was a pretty small show. It was a dinner show in a hotel. Oh, and it was, it was in uh, Gateshead. Yeah, it was in Gateshead, so um, it was it was a really good show. The atmosphere was great because it was quite small. So I don't know how many he sold, if he, if he sold any. You know, I'm sure he had a few friends and family there. 
Yeah. Did you do you always speak to your opponents after their fights? The fights. Yeah, it's kind of the first thing I, I want to do, you know, because we've we've instantly earned each other's respect. You know, we've went to war, and thankfully we've came out with our health, you know, and you gain that respect instantly. But I've never lost a fight yet. Touch wood. Touch wood. Even in, I never had any amateur fights, you know. I had, did uh, you not? Know? Nah, I had 14 unlicensed fights in Newcastle and Gateshead. Did, did you win any, uh, did you win won most them of them? Won them all. Won them all. That's nice yeah. to hear. Four, 14 fights, 12 knockouts, and then I've won five pro fights. So I, I don't know what the feeling is of losing you know, I'm not saying I'm not going to ever lose, but I don't know that feeling. So, yeah, because I win and I'm happy, I want to go and you know congratulate my opponent for being for giving us a good fight, etc. Did you like Eve? Did you? Because uh, I think you fought Louis Van Pucci in his what 150th fight or something. Yeah, yeah, that was my first fight this year in February. It was a good fight. He's tough. You know, it's how you know get around the ring and. Throw just enough punches to sort of keep the ref off his back. Yeah. And then I think he picked up a win in the away corner uh, a few months ago. He did, yeah. I think after me, he had a draw. I could be wrong. Oh, he did. He did. No, he had a draw and then a win. Uh, yeah. So fair play to him. He's doing well. Seriously, right? He could have won a hell of a lot more of his fights. He really could have because he's... You know, he's, he's a lot better of a boxer than people actually know. Yeah, because they look at his record and they say, oh, he's lost over 100 fights, he's not very good. But if you well, watch he, him, he's, he's yeah. really entertaining. To watch. Well, he's there to do a job, though. He's, he's a journeyman. He's there to bring, yeah. you know, new lads, who are maybe one, two, three, and all, bring them on, give them the rounds, give them that experience. Same with that Seamus DeVille. Yeah. Exactly the same. And he was, who was harder out of them to you? Well, I, I was I was getting a bit frustrated with Seamus and I was really trying to like hurt him and knock him out. So I was you know, I don't I know. I bet you were I, relieved. Um well, I bet you were over the moon when you stopped Mike. Oh yes, I was. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Seventh round, buzzing. Yeah. When, yeah. when, as soon as you stopped him, mate, I, I was jumping up and down. I was over the moon. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, glad I've got a glad I've got a supporter there. Yeah. Where are you from? Well, originally, I I was I was born in London, but I've moved um, to Chobham, which is near Reading. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Just outside of London. Yeah. But so, are you a hundred percent fighting on the? The 27th of August. Yeah, 100%. Are you defending that title? Probably not, no. Or is it just like a six-rounder just to get back? I, ideally an eight-rounder. Because eight I haven't had an eight-rounder yet. Yeah, yeah. Ideally. I've left... It's with the matchmaker. It's with my... Coach, and then maybe you, we can get someone like with a decent winning record. Well, I'd like someone in the top 20. You know? Yeah. Like, I, I reckon you would beat that, maybe that Jermaine Brown. I reckon you could. I, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I, I think I would well, beat that him. Charlie Schofield as well. Yeah. Marcus uh, Morrison as well. I think I beat him. Oh, Marcus Morrison, yeah. I think he fought Chris Eubank. Yeah, yeah, he did. He went the distance with Chris Eubank. I and then he I got stopped him. by, um, what's his name, Parker. Zach Parker. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Are you the same weight as... um? Nathan Heaney and like Bentley, or are they middle? Ooh. Sorry, sorry. It's me. Oh, shush, 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 shush. Sheesh. Two minutes, dude. It's all right. So, it is Nathan sorry, Heaney? There's just someone at the door. Oh, uh, it's all right. So, is Nathan? He Wait, so back to my question is Nathan Heaney the weight below you? I don't know. I know Denzel Bentley, is he not middleweight? Oh, yeah, he is. So I think he's slightly light. He's just, he just boxed... Um... Linus Yadofia. Yeah, and he won the British title, didn't he? Well, mate, 
it, you, you could argue about that fight. Yeah, it was a close um, fight, wasn't it? Did you watch it? Um, yeah, I did actually, yeah. Who did you think won? Mm, I don't know. I would have to watch it back again, you know. Was, but... For me, it was very, very, very close. I wouldn't be surprised if either man got the nod. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or if it was a draw, I think a draw would have been a fair result as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no one likes to see a draw, though, do they? No, not really. Mm. But yeah, he's a middleweight, him. I think, um, I, I don't thought, know, there's, there's a lot of good names out there. There's a lot of good kids. But, but I want to just keep going. I've got I nothing think to lose. that Zach Parker's moving um, to fight that Demetrius Andre, so he's going to be, like, in the world title picture now, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Heffron just won on the weekend. He's number one. Well, he's number three in the country now. So I know, gonna... but personally, I think that was a faulty stoppage. Yeah. I what? didn't see it. I didn't see it. What happened? Did the ref jump in too soon? Or... Yeah, but because Lennox was like getting jabbed on the ropes, just covering up. But he, he was yeah. absolutely fine. And then mm-hmm. Lennox pushed the ref because he was cross. Okay. But... And the ref, what, disqualified? No, no. But when the before when after the ref waved it off, Lennox pushed him. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, frustration. Yes. Oh, that Willie Hutchinson's at your weight as well. Yes, he is, yeah. Are these the kind of fights you want to get into? Definitely. Hundred percent. You know, I am re- I am ready to fight anyone. I really am. My my manager might say, look, your next couple of fights. Let's have another couple of learning fights, a couple of eight rounders. Um, or you know, defend your, your northern area title. Yeah, if there's someone there who wants to, you know, who wants to challenge it, brilliant. We'll defend that. But I really want to push on. Maybe try and get an eliminator for the English title. You know, yeah, I think that, do you know, that, I think it'd be a good fight. More against like Jermaine Brown, Zach, um, or maybe that uh, Jack Killen who fought him as well. Kilgallen. Jack, yeah, him. Yeah, he was Central Area Champion or Midlands or something, wasn't he? Definitely yeah, I, I, that, I think that would be a great fight, you beat that Jack. Mm. Yeah. I reckon you knock him out, though. Yeah, definitely, yeah. mate. Stop him, 100% getting that. I reckon you stop I reckon you stop a few of these boys at um, this kind of level at the minute. Yeah, 100%. I think a few of them will give you more of a challenge, like, Zach Chelly would be a difficult fight, but I reckon, I mean, if I reckon, if you train hard and you, you get your head down, anything can happen in boxing. Of course it can, you know. I live and breathe this now. I train every day, twice a day, you know. So have like, you trained today? Yeah, yeah, I trained today. Today was a bit of a, a lighter session, a speed session, because um, on Wednesday, I'm sparring Callum Smith. Really? Yeah, going down to Liverpool. So were you looking forward to that? Because he's been in that. I was yeah. he world champion at a point. WBA super middleweight champion in the world. Yeah, so, so enjoy he's, that, mate. Because that that will be that's gonna be that's gonna be good for you to get down. It, amazing, just to meet him. Hopefully his brother will be there. You know, and what, fun. Liam. Hopefully, yeah. You know, and the might together, be. Think, Who knows? But but, uh, but at least Callum's there. But. Because Callum's been, I think Callum's fought what Canelo. Yeah, they've both fought Canelo. Liam Smith fought Canelo as well. Oh yeah, they both have. But they're both. He got stopped. Either way, they're both top. They're both, especially Liam and Callum. They're both great fighters. So it should be brilliant. Enjoy that spar. How many rounds are you going to spar, Callum? As many as I can do. Ten, twelve, whatever. Yeah. How long's Liverpool away from where you live? What, an hour, two hours, three hours? About three and a half hours with no traffic. Oh, so, so not, we, n- not overly that bad. It's not too bad. Me and my manager, um, my coach, we're going to go down tomorrow evening, so we're going to get a good sleep, um, stay in a hotel, and then we're going to go to the gym at 10 a.m. Good to hear, mate. Let me know how that goes. I will, definitely. Are you, are you going to get... Uh, I reckon you should take your belt down and show him. <laughs> I mean, he has got a world title, mate. He might, he might sort of think, well, that's nice, mate, but I've got a WBA, nice shiny one on the wall. I know, I know, but you've got to be proud of 
your title as well. I am very proud. And, and you know what it is? as soon as you keep trying, I mean, at the minute, you would obviously say Callum's better than you, no offence, because like he's world level but, at the minute. Yeah, you're, of course he's... You're he's, around English yeah. level that at, at the minute, but give, give you a few years and are, you'll be up uh, at world level. Mm. Yeah. No matter if you take a, a, a few defeats on the way, you'll be up there. Who knows? I'm certainly going to... So is Callum Smith one of your favourite fighters to watch? Yeah, definitely. I've always rated him, always been a fan. Um, you know, he's a really, really tidy boxer, isn't he? Moves really well. He's, he's just... He's um, he's ferocious as well. I was watching. I was just watching him like a couple of nights ago. You know, he's had some good stoppages. He's got a lot of power. Did you see that one on the AJ undercard? Was that his last fight at light heavyweight? Um, yeah. No, was it the AJ undercard? Yeah, AJ Usyk undercard. He fought. Um, can't I don't remember his name, but he stopped him brutally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Well, Pers, who do you think wins that rematch with AJ and Usyk? I want to say AJ because I'm British. Um, I mean, you know, he's got to he's got to completely change, hasn't he? He's got to come in with a completely different strategy. Well, he's changed you know, he's, his he's changed his trainer. He has, yeah. Which you know, it's probably a good thing. I think Robert Kraken was brilliant, but. That last fight, they ran out of ideas completely. Yeah. He did. So, so are you going to back AJ by knockout? I think so. You've got to, haven't you? He knows it. He's never going to outbox him. He's never going to outbox him for 12 rounds, is he? He's just not. But lots, you're one of the first people who said that you think AJ's going to beat him. Yeah. I like to, uh, you know... I like the back, the British yeah. man, you know. And I, it, the thing is, he's when he when he lost to Ruiz, he came what, the back. First, yeah, the first. first time, but he came back, and I thought he boxed brilliantly the second time. He, he had yeah, a strategy. The first he, he time he, he underestimated Ruiz. Yeah, completely. He, he didn't show him enough respect. Got wiped out. Um, so. And then, if if AJ wins, would you want to see? AJ v Fury. Definitely. 100%. And who who would you back in that? Would you would you back Fury? Fury. No one beats Tyson Fury. No one on planet Earth. He is the best of a generation. I think he will go down as arguably the greatest heavyweight of all time. Because he'll, he'll you would like say he what would you say he's better than the, like the likes of Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali? Well, well, if, it's it's a hard one, isn't it? Because you know how how can you compare these grades of different ages when there was all different boxers around at, the, at that time? But he's wiped the floor, or he hit, he will have wiped the floor. Every single person he's boxed at this present time, he'll have retired. I mean, he struggled against Scott O'Rourke with that cut. Yeah, he did, but he still beat him, didn't he? You know, he upset him. He was Even dirty. Otto he was Admitted because I got Otto Wall in on the channel and he he said himself that he thought Tyson when it went to decision that Tyson won. Yeah, he did. He did win. He still beat me, you know. But everyone but, has uh, a rough. He said to me he thought that it should have been stopped with that cut. Really? It was a bad cut, to be honest, mate. Yeah, it was bad, you know. But he had to get a few what a few stitches on it. A few stitches, but you know he's cut man done a great job at pushing it back up. I don't know. He survived. His eyes all right now. Yeah. What's what you your favourite Tyson Fury fight? I mean, it's got to be that Wilder three. That is one of the greatest fights you will ever see, ever. I mean, me as a Wilder fan, I, I enjoyed it, but uh, I didn't like the end of it, though. No, because he got knocked out. <laughs> it was a brilliant fight, though, wasn't it? The yeah. fact that Wilder dropped him, he dropped Wilder again. I, I, I was on uh, the edge of my seat, though. Yeah, it was just, I mean, that had everything. But but my, my, uh, but my dad was happy because he's a Fury fan. Yeah. I, you know what it is? I used to be a big fan of Wilder. But after he got absolutely destroyed the second time, 
the second crap was, yeah you know in the second fight where Fury oh yeah that second time yeah and all the crap he started coming out with his suit his trainer he got drugged he oh and I he just thought, in that. yeah you know this man you know, he's a very sore loser you know and he, but the third he fight had, he, he had no, no excuses no excuses no but even at the end do you remember when Fury went to shake his hand and he was like you wouldn't shake his hand yeah, but he, he, he just recovered from getting knocked out, so he was on the stool. Obviously, he would be a bit gutted. Yeah. But, yeah. But anyway, yeah. after the fight, he did congratulate them, you know, and that's what it's all he, about. On Instagram, uh, in his other post-fight, I think um, he said congrats to Fury and his team and stuff like that. Yeah, he did. So, so that was good. But my, probably my favourite Wilder knockout was... Um, that one against Dominic Brazil. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or, or the Spilker one. That was quality. Oh, yeah. He was out cool, wasn't he? He really yeah. was. I mean, why you've, you've got to give Wilder so much credit because he was never a great Imagine boxer. if that, that the first fight with Fury, that knocked out. I really thought it was over. Yeah. Amazing, though. You know? I mean, fair play to Fury for getting up to that, though. 100%. Because... In, in my eyes, no other heavyweight at this current generation would get up to that. Mm. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Totally I reckon would. AJ, White, Woods, Usyk, Parker, Joe Joyce, I reckon they would all be knocked out. Fury's the man. That's why he's the man. Because of him getting up then, you know? Because of all the hardship he went through, his drug addiction, the alcohol, getting going ballooning into 30 stone... And look at him to come back. What a story. You know? This man was it was just... It's so is Fury one of uh, your favourite fighters as well? Oh, yeah. Definitely. What, so would you say what? Fury and, like, Callum Smith and those... Do you not like... Do you like Canelo at all? Love Canelo. I just think he's brilliant. Absolutely Did you what? I think that he, he was destroying everyone at Super Middle. He had every right to go and challenge... Bivol, but he just got beat by the better man, didn't he? Yeah, he got beat by the, the better, stronger man. And, and, and Bivol was taller than him. But uh, the most impressive thing with Bivol, Canelo kept going back to the ropes and he was he was trying to get Bivol to come to him. He was wanting to, he was wanting to come close so Canelo could, could um, counter-punch him. And Bivol was so disciplined, he would stand back and he would bring him back to the centre of the ring. So Bivol would would keep him at range. You know, he wasn't playing into um, Canelo's hands, Canelo's game plan. And, I mean, that takes massive amounts of discipline for 12 rounds. He's boxing yeah. IQ. Bivol is, I mean, it's... Who, who do you impressive. want to fight? Who do you want Bivol to fight next? It's got to be um, uh, the other Russian fella. Is he Russian? What? Um, um, Bertie, better be a, better be Yes. Got oh, be. yeah. Mate, that would be quality. The Battle of the Russians. Unreal. Yeah. Oh, I mean, mate. I tell you what, I think it's actually a React Paul's cruiserweight, isn't he? Oh, a Richard React Paul, yeah. He, he's, he's, he's good, though. Yeah, but he's, he's they're like heavyweights and he's cruiserweight, isn't he? Yeah. So he would, yeah. What about uh, Joshua Boatsy? Um, yeah. Yards? I think he's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Is he ready for the world title shot yet? Does he not he need is a world champion, fight? isn't he? Uh, no, no, Boatz is not world champion. He's uh, he, well, we, be, he did beat Richards, I think. Yeah, but it was not for like a WBC something like a silver or something like that. Oh, yeah, I think something like that. But yeah. he beat Richards quite comfortably, I think. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a and very Richards, good Richards uh, did, did, um, was in a close fight v Bivol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Richards gave Bivol a really good fight, but I thought. To be honest, I thought Bivol did enough just, but, you know, I think Bivol's proven. Do you think Canelo would beat Bivol at super middle? I don't know. He's the king of super middle, isn't he? What would Bivol be like losing that extra half a stone or whatever? How much would he would he keep the same power? Mm. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Bivol doesn't need to come down to super middle He's, he's a light heavyweight. Because he's, he's, what, 20 and 0, 21 and 0, something like that. But that fight against Better Beer, what a fight that would be. Yeah. Because they're both 
ferociously. Who's who's yeah. the best Russian fighter? The best Russian fighter, yeah, exactly. Who, or personally, could be the best light heavyweight. Yeah, exactly. You know. But who do you think wins that, mate? I, I'm back in. I don't know. I really don't know. I really but I'll be very excited to watch it. Yeah. Um, my final question for you, champ, is do you have any advice for people who want to be like a pro boxer? Work your absolute socks off. Give it absolutely everything, you know. I've got a few friends who, you know, they're, they're sort of in their mid-30s now. One's an MMA fighter. He was a pro MMA fighter. He's turned into pro boxing now. Um, What's his name? I'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, Mickey Dodds, he's called. Michael Dodds. Um, the other lad is, you know, you know Aaron Chalmers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been training a bit with Aaron, and he's he just made his pro he's debut. Fight, he's fighting again in Newcastle. Uh, he was meant to. He, it's there's been a bit of an issue with the promoter, so he's not fighting. Un, un, unfortunately, I was going to go. He's not fighting anymore. Nah, he's not fighting anymore. Oh, that's actually. a shame. I was looking forward to him. Yeah, he, he looked. He, his debut was great. He was really tidy. But he's 35, and he, he says, "Do you know what it is? I'm going to give it a couple of years, and just you know see what happens." I says, "Mate, good on you. Just give it everything." Give it yeah. everything, train as hard as you can, get the diet right, you know, exactly. your sleep, your nutrition, everything. Um, and then once it's all said and done, right, you can sit back on your own chair with your family and say, do you know what it is? I've got no regrets because I've tried my hardest, no matter how far you go, no matter how many fights you have. No. Yeah. And do you want to shout out, like, your manager or your sponsors or anyone who's helped you in your career so far? Yeah, exactly. definitely. Big, big shout out to Job's Gym, which is the gym I'm with in Newcastle. Matty Job's, he's my manager, I'm a coach. Um, we worked together with this this last fight. It was our first fight together and to many more. My strength and condition coach, John Slaughter, he's got me in the, the best physical shape and mental shape that, I'm, that I could be in, you know. I'm an, I'm an absolute animal um, because of him. Um, and just, you know, big shout out to all my teammates, Everyone in the northeast, the northeast bo- the boxing side of things is absolutely booming. You know, it was a brilliant show yesterday. Sky's coming up, Wasserman's coming up, Probellum. So watch out. There's some serious top northeast talent out there. There is, yes. And you're one of them, mate. Thank I'm you for your there. time, champ. Hey, and thank you. That that title looks good with you. Cheers, bud. It's staying with me. Believe me. It will do until you push on for like English. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It would be good to have you on soon. Um, I appreciate your time. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Bye.